Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. Today we will learn how to identify an object from an image by using AI Builder with the help of object detection model. By using this model, we can recognize the object and count the things inside the images. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an image with three robots, right? In our real time scenario, if I want to recognize these objects and count the things over here, how can I go ahead and do that by using AI Builder? To do that, we are having a model over here with the name of object detection model. By using this object detection model, we can recognize the object inside the images and then we can count the things inside the images also. Now, I will show you how we are going to use this object detection model as part of AI Builder. First, we need to create an AI model for our business needs. How can we go ahead and do that? First, we are going to select AI Builder. Inside that, we are going to use Build over here. Click on that. Now, we are having a model which is refined to detect the object detections. Over here, you can see object detection model. It will recognize and count the things inside the image. So we are going to select this object detection model. Select on that. If you see over here, I'm having some examples over here. You can see Contesso, Green Tea Rose. These are the images that what you have, right? You can get some samples also, but I'm not going to use these samples right now. And going for the best practices, you can see over here, use about the same number of images for each object. All right. And don't use the images which are very lot inside the images. Don't use such a kind of images over here whenever you're going to train your model. Next one, use images that represent normal use. Don't use artificial images where the objects is not in the natural context. So these are the two things which we have. Click on create. Now, I'm going to give the name of this AI model as Robo AI, and then I'm going to click on create. Now, if you see over here, at least you required 15 images to upload and to train my model. You can see over here, select your models to domain. I'm going to select common objects or objects on the retail shelves, brand logos, whatever you want. You can select this kind of model domain. You can select it. Now, I'm going to use common objects. And then I'm going to click on next. Now choose the object uh, for your model to detect. I'm going to give a new model name with the name of robots because of to identify the robots, I'm going to select it. All right, let me click on next. Over here also, if you want a number of objects like robots, humans, like that, if you're going to define the names, in that case, you can go ahead and you can give n number of objects in choose objects. But right now, I want to detect only the object with the name of robot. That's why I'm going to give the name of the object as robo. And then if you see over here, add example images for your objects. At least you required 15 images for each and every object, right? So now I'm going to select only 15 robots over here. Add images by clicking on that. I'm going to use to upload from my local storage. And in the robots, I'm having upload over here. Where I'm having, you can see over here, n number of images that I have. I'm going to select all the images and then I'm going to click on open. You can see over here, the, if the images are not meeting the requirement, what we have to do? You can see over here, the format of the image should be JPEG, PNG, and BMP images. And the size should be 6 MB maximum for training. Minimum width of the each and every image is 256 pixel and two, by 256 pixel. All right. These are the basic requirement of the images which you are going to train it. All right. You can see over here, some of the images are invalid over here because of I have given in a different formats or the image should not did not match the requirement as I have shown you. All right, let me click on upload 15 images. Now, if you see over here, some of the images are uploading some, uh, some of the images will be declined due to the requirement matching over there. All right, let me click on close. Now we have added our images because of I'm, I'm having more than 15 images 
out of them that it has been taken 15 images which are matching to my requirement let's click on next now we need to tag the images over here now i'm going to select each and every image over here and then i'm going to select the image of the robot you can see over here i'm going to drag and drop the locations and i can choosing the object as robot next and in the same way the remaining 14 images i'm going to do the same i'm going to map or tag the each and every image for the particular object Now we have captured all the images, right? Now you can see over here in the model summary that we are having data source over here, object type, and after the model as yeah, object detection that you can see all the details over here in the model summary. Let's click on train to train our AI model. Now if you see your model is training and it will takes a little bit time to train this model. Go to models. Now our model has been trained successfully. Let me select this model once again, Robo AI model. Click on that. Now you can see over here, my performance of this Robo AI model is 100% with perfection. Now you can see over here, this model can be used in the Power Automate as well as the Power App. Now before that, I need to publish this model. So before going to publish this model, let me test it by clicking on Quick Test. Now I'm going to select an image to test my model. Upload from my device. And over here, I'm having another images test. Let me select that. Let me select another image. Now, if you see over here, it is trying to detect the robots inside that. There you can see with the perfection of, you know, 41% and the 50%, it has been recognized the images. So this is how it has been trained by using object detection model. Let me click on close. Now my model is ready with my business needs. Let me publish this model to use in Power Automate or Power Apps. Let me click on publish. Now the model has been published successfully. Let me use this model. I'm going to use the model by using new app or new flow. Let me click on that to make you understand. Now, if you see over here, a new template has been came to identify the images. But if you see uh, from this, I'm going to get the tag ID as well as the tag confidence in the sense how much percentage that we have seen, uh, you know, inside the image that we can get it. I'm not going to use this directly because of it looks a little bit, uh, you know, complex over here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new flow by using create button. And then I'm going to use instant cloud flow. I'm just going to give this as robo detection flow. And then I'm going to select manually trigger a flow. And then I'm going to click on create. Now manually trigger a flow. I'm going to give the input over here as file because of we are having input images over here. All right. Now, once we got the triggering point, now from where I can get the predict of the newly published model that is Robo AI. Now click on new step. I'm going to select AI builder for that because of we have created that model Robo AI model inside the AI builder, right? I'm going to select predict AI builder. And you can see over here model, which model that we have going to use it. Now, as we have seen, we have published Robo AI model. I'm going to give the same name over here. And the image, it's the input for this predict uh, predict Robo AI model that is manual triggering a flow, that is input image. Let me select that. Now, from this one that I'm going to get it the tag ID as well as the tag confidence. These are the two outputs I will get it. Now, in my Excel that I'm having it a workbook with the name of object detection where I'm going to get the tag ID as well as the tag confidence. 
nothing but the amount of confidence that we have on the image while it is going to be recognizing inside the image. That is what we have over here. These two columns, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to take, you know, complex functionality over here. I'm just going to show what kind of things that we are going to get it as an output from by using Robo AI model as part of object detection model, right? So we have created our own model over here by using object detection, right? Now I'm going to click on new step and I'm going to use Excel online. Now what I'm going to do to add a row, I'm going to select add a row into the table. I'm going to location and document library. I'm going to take it as OneDrive. I'm going to select a file over here as object detection Excel SX because of we have created that workbook over here and the table I'm having table one. Once you have selected table one, we will get two columns over here. One is tag ID, another one tag confidence. I'm going to give the tag ID over here, which is the output over here. You can see over here tag ID. You, once you have selected the tag ID, we can have multiple results inside the predict, right? So for each and every result that we are going to add a new row. Now I'm having the tag confidence. You can see over here, I'm having tag confidence also. I'm going to select it. And we don't have any names right now, so that I'm going to use only tag confidence. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, my flow is ready with the object detection model. And then we can go ahead and we can run our flow. To test my flow, I'm going to use test option over here. Click on test. Now I'm going to choose manually over here. In the real time scenario, if you're going to get the images from any mail perspective, in that case, we can go ahead and we can create a flow in a such a way by using input as email. But right now I'm going to use manually and then save on test. Now as an input image, I'm going to give some image over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select one of the image as an input, which is having all not Schwarzenegger and then Robo side by side to detect the images with the confidence level over here. Let me open that image once. If you see the image, this is the one is Robo, another one is Arnold Schwarzenegger. So this image I'm going to upload and find it out the confidence of the image that we have trained to our model, that is Robo AI model, all right? Now let me select that image. Let me click on run on run flow. Now my flow has been execution has been started. And you can see over here, it is trying to predict from the images how much we, the percentage of the image is the robo. So it is trying to identify the images by using predict AI builder with object detection model. And then finally, what will happen? The tag ID and the tag confidence, it will insert the data inside the, you can see over here, I'm having tag ID over here. One is 0.7177 percentage, another one is 0.71. So if you convert this into 100%, then we'll get it 71 percentage over there. And you can see over here, it has been considered the images and it is trying to fetch the images. I hope you understand how to detect an object inside the image by using object detection model as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.